Hey, I'm gonna take a look at the numbers for housing again uh, in, in the domains of uh, folks who are going to move into affordable housing uh, in the domain of adequate shelter. Uh, historically, I've made uh, at least three videos about this. Uh, the, the video that's received the most hits, period, for me, is the review for Boxable. Uh, so that's one. And when I did the math uh, here, the uh, opportunity was $68 trillion, if I remember correctly, from memory. I think the, as big as of a number that is, I feel that the opportunity is going to be a lot more. So we're gonna try and slice and dice to that data set. Uh, and I was thinking about this for some reason in the morning or last night, I can't remember. Um, but I was thinking, I was thinking water, like I'm, somehow the water problem has to be solved and then transportation uh, in order to be able to enable many new cities in a sustainable manner, cities and towns. But, oh, here we go. I wasn't looking at this, uh, right? You know, I just call that. I just did a search on my own channel for housing. So when I was looking at Boxable, and I, I, I sound tired because I couldn't sleep properly, but I, I do, um, I apologize in advance if the logic or the numbers that I'm going to be working on do not make sense. This is by far the best uh, response I've received on a YouTube video. So it looks like we hit a problem that is big. Uh, and I'm thinking of some of my friends who are active in this space, particularly Surge uh, from ex Extreme Mobility. Uh, that's all, I, like I'm not promoting Surge's startup right now, but I think he, he like, you know, uh, like any other. So, yeah, I think the, it's right here, right? Okay, $79 trillion. Uh, whereby I did a simple, uh, when, I when I made this video last year on Box, uh, the Boxable Casita was going for almost 50K. That's the price before taxes, I think. And I just multiplied it by the, this number here. But I was thinking right now that we need to, I, it's been a while since I've practiced stats uh, and I'm not, I'm not very good at stats. Um, so I don't really know how the distributions work. So if somebody's watching this and you'd like to help me, then we can collaborate on this, right? Uh, so that being said, what I'm gonna do is I am going to stop sharing this. You're gonna see me with my unshaven face. And we're gonna bring this back again. Uh, as always, there's a container for stuff. Always have a container for what you're working on it, it's, and, and have the necessary tags and whatnot. Okay, should be a track record of what you're working on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide the population in uh, a distribution. And I don't know if this is how the bell curve really works, but I'm thinking that the majority of the people are gonna be in this category. And then these are gonna be the other categories, right? It looks like I have this spreadsheet open somewhere else. Too. So what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, let's sort this first of all. Keep it simple. How do you do the sort? Sort range, column C. 
me. Okay, so that's good. What we're now going to do is we are going, how, how should we do this? Four point three, four point seven, point seven. Okay. And now, what was the number that we stumbled upon last year? Well, it should be the number of people. So one point six eight billion. So what we're gonna do is this. What is 0.3% of 1.68 billion. Approximately 5 million. Okay. We'll keep this simple. And I'm gonna go here. repeating this and up later. Okay. All right, you see some of my personal stuff. So now we're gonna go with four point what was it again? Four point seven percent. Seven percent. This is uh, seventy two million. So we'll put that in there. Thank you, the hyperlink. Seven percent. Big problems are big opportunities. Four thirty two million. I need this one. Oops. Twenty seven percent. Right. And then uh, finally, there's sixty eight percent of one point six billion. I think this number could be higher. But let's just go with what Google is suggesting right now. That's more than a billion people. What is it exactly? Yeah, 1 billion and 88 million. All right, so if the I don't know how mortgages work, so I won't be able to do the math. But now let's suppose for fifty thousand is running up to fifty thousand. 20% of 50,000 will be um, yeah. let's, let's go with 10%. So 10% of, yeah, so that's 5,000. So on the remaining uh, 45,000, 
I don't know how amortization works and everything. So calculator. 45,000. The, the monthly payments are going to be pretty low. So let's say if your monthly payment is like 200 bucks. So yearly is going to be 3,600. So theoretically speaking, in 10 years, you could pay back the mortgage, kind of, sort of, right? 30. 3,600 multiplied by 15. Yeah, okay, well, with uh, interest and everything, uh, how, much, how much did we do? 3,600 by 15. Yeah, so so in 15 years, you could pay back uh, 55,000, 45,000 to 50,000, 5,000 mortgage with interest and all that stuff. So it would be, Well, it remains to be seen how many people will actually afford a fifty thousand dollar house, right? But how should we do this? How should I lay out the data? So this is the distribution. Let's see, data science and Excel is not my strength. Percentage distribution by so a lot of other sub problems to solve, but let's go step by step. This is a problem that impacts me so. Solving all problems, food and shelter, and a good life. Right. So the price point that um, I was, what I'm trying to hi highlight is that the opportunity is a lot bigger. So we're going to go with U.S. dollars for now, but we're going to say that 68% of the population, I want this number to be a lower distribution by a number of people in uh, a percentage, obviously, because we want more people to live in really good environments, uh, not, not like a smaller, and that's not a this for Boxable, which is a company I appreciate and respect a lot as founders. But I'm thinking it's an energy, uh, is a question of energy and materials and uh, to be able to procure or har harness or harvest those two using sustainable means. So as long as we can do that and solve the other problems like water, communications, municipal code, because uh, you're gonna need police, firefighters, paramedics, teachers, and uh, the other core functions that you need in order to be able to maintain a town or a city, you, you need all that. So there are a lot of problems to solve. But again, like I said, let's go step by step. I want, I want this number to be lower. So I want more people, and it's not a price thing. I think it's that whole energy and materials dynamic. So I think it, is just, is it, it depends how you look at it. It's a space problem. I'm not trying to push this to workspace because we are thinking of running 100% on donations and making all of the operations run on a public blockchain so that the accounting is um, super transparent. And I think all, I would say all space-based companies should do that, but uh, I'm not going to make that a law or propose that we do so. Anyway, so. And I'm not trying to sound all that. I just, that's what we're thinking right now because we, we want to solve this problem and we want, we want to solve the food problem. Uh, but housing is something that impacts us. So, so let's, let's then imagine, like, imagine that 
that for like $150,000, you could get a really, really nice house in the future. Like whether it's Boxable or Icon 3D or some other company, $150,000 gets you a mansion, right? So again, we want a lot more people from here to go here. Ideally, we want this to be zero and this is becomes very affordable. And whatever this gets you, it should goes here, right? So this becomes even better. That would be the ideal situation, right? Uh, but let's let's go with this. Then um, this is. I'm not looking at like existing me mechanisms of uh, enabling real estate, but let's just go with this right now. So let's let's say that. 5% of the people are going to be able to afford a house. Now we're talking like really luxury. We're talking like super luxury, like 20 rooms in a house, sustainably sourced energy, the works, right? Uh, pretty much Beverly Hills for 5% of the population, right? Ideally for 100% of the population, but let's go with these ratios for now. And everything open to suggestions and ideas. And say that 0.3% can indeed afford like a $1 million house. Uh, this, is, this is just in the 1.6 billion who can't, cannot, we're flipping this model. We're saying 1.6 billion people can afford a house. And this is what they could potentially afford. Right, so let me make sure I got the right number of zeros. That would be 100,000 and a million. Yeah, all right. Okay, so um, this should, in theory, give us a number uh, which should be a lot higher than 79 trillion. So let's take a look now. So what we wanna do is we wanna multiply this by that. So total number of people by, uh, is within that distribution or range, by uh, the price point. So this comes to a big number and I gotta, yeah, that's my, that's my, that's my stretch break. And as soon as this updates, I'm going to, run this across, all right? So that's working. And this. What I'm going to now do is I'm going to to the left, to the left. So when we do the, so I can get rid of this one now. And I can sum this up. So these are the distributions that we chose. That should add up to 1.6 billion. Let's just double check. Yeah. Okay, I cannot do that. 
Uh, in this case, we do not want to sum it, but I want to see what the mean, the mean is. Yeah, so this is this is these are pushing the price up. Uh, even though almost seventy percent of people are in this price point, but these are pushing the price up. So, what's the median? Mean, median, what else is there? Node. What is the most common? Right? No, it's not going to apply because the, the series is, it doesn't make sense. And this is the total. Okay. Now this looks like 146 trillion, but let's verify. Yeah, 146 and a half trillion dollars. Yeah, so it's it's not uh, it's not uh, seventy eighty trillion. It's hundred at least hundred and forty six trillion dollars, and that's just in affordable housing. So yeah, this is like this is got like big numbers written all over. It. Not that money should be the factor. But I don't know what's going to happen to capitalism uh, you know, on a 20 year time span. But this has got big money written all over this, as you can see. Uh, and uh, as I shared yesterday, the big problems really are the big opportunities, which is a video I posted uh, right here. So, Look at that. I hope the ad kind of pops up. So let's take a look at that link. Yeah, housing is not even here, right? So if I sh search for shelter or housing, um, I don't know if it gets rolled up into poverty. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know if that's what we get. No, it's not. I don't know if it's rolled up into social transformation or economic development. It's not going to be under disarmament. Please can we governance? Human settlements. Maybe maybe it will be under urbanization. If if it, what we're looking at right now will be under UN Habitat. I, I'm, I don't know if it will be. I haven't taken a look at their website or the link at that. Then, then uh, this, is, this has at least uh, 
146 trillion dollar opportunity. Uh, this this is 146 trillion dollar opportunity. So now let's imagine that 10,000 companies solve this problem. Okay. Just imagine. So that becomes 14 billion, 14 and a half billion dollars, right? Each. So if these 10,000 companies have 1,000 employees each, then we want to divide 14 and a half billion. It's not really going to work like that. The distribution is not going to be equal. Some of the people are going to make more money. You know, folks who start the company are going to have shares. So ideally, they're going to then go and invest a big chunk of that money into solving other problems. But let's let's just go with this line of thought. So fourteen point fourteen and a half trillion divided by ten thousand companies would be fourteen and a half billion, which would be this much. Yeah. Okay. So fourteen and a half billion now divided by one thousand employees each. No, I don't, I don't think I did the math right. So 14, okay, let's, let's say there's 10,000 companies, 100,000 employees each. Let's just imagine. Okay, so they're all, everybody becomes a millionaire, <laughs> right? So how do, they, how, how do we do this math? Uh, 14 and a half trillion dollars, 10,000 companies, and 100,000 employees each. So how many people are employed? Uh, 10. I don't know if I'm doing the math right, my brain's slowing down. If 100,000 people are employed, um, per company and 10,000 companies are started, then, yeah, my brain's definitely slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> but to keep it simple, the opportunity is huge. It's not uh, $78 trillion. It's Hundred and forty six trillion dollars, right? And hundred and forty six and a half trillion dollars. So this is my video for the day. It's kind of hyperlink, so hundred forty six trillion dollars. Not inflation adjusted. Man, we, we like there's so much opportunity coming. It's gonna be, excuse me, sorry about that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be unreal. Jobs, it's gonna be really good conditions for a lot of people, right? Thanks a lot for watching. Thoughts, comments, suggestions are welcome. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Find me on LinkedIn because I make my videos available for uh, so my daughter can watch them. So yeah, find me on LinkedIn and let me know what you think of what I shared. Uh, if there's any mistakes I made uh, when it comes to the distribution, let me know. If I added the numbers incorrectly, let me know. Actually, how could we uh, graph this out? I'm gonna graph this. The, there's so many variables.
I have to play with the scale. So let's go. Oh, flap. Well, what I want to do is. No, I don't think we're going to graph property. People by price point. I think this. I'm using the graph for not working. So customize depth. I always have to like tinker with this. Yellow factor is. Is the vertical axis. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, where is this getting this value from? But this is not not gonna be there's too much of a difference between the two. So scale for this is a thousand. And No, I gotta, I gotta, like, I need, I need some help with this. This many people at that, that price point. So maybe I need a different kind of. Again. I need a hero. Eighties.
follow the record here. Okay. No. Row two, no, row three and that is. We do want column A and label, yes. Now I wish it when they did the graph, it also updated the colors here so I could do the correlation. Oh, I'll look at the blue is so tiny. Let's, so the blue. Distribution. That's this. Four zero 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 four point eight million versus a billion. So yeah, no wonder it's so small. And this blue is this one, right? So That's this one, 68. Uh, this is 27%. This is 4%, and this is 0.3%. Okay, yeah. So, like, so that would be one way is to do it manually. This is a hack because I, I, like, I don't know how cell really works. Would be right. That's orange. Thing is, if you have edit the graph, then the other thing is gonna be static. This is right. So, does it make sense? Need a, need a good Excel person. Really well. Right? Oh, good. That's our destiny to live good life for all humans sustainably. All right, so. That's not robot would be pretty cool for uh, healthcare, particularly elderly care, and and people with like disabilities also. Okay. Now this one distribution, but the thing is, then somebody may look at this and say, this is this. Oh, hold on. So now distribution uh, based on, yeah, so now this is this one. That's this one. This one is oh, this one is red. This one okay. Let's just double check. I, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right.
you can click on this one and it gives you the breakdown. This one you gotta hover. 60. So now this is the question of upward mobility because you have people living here. You have a billion people living here. The billion people keep living in the same surroundings and there's upward mobility. Then uh, that's gonna be bad. Sure. Somebody has moved from potential slums or worse. I don't know what could be worse than the slum. Refugee camps, equally horrible. But somebody's moved from like no shelter, say, to shelter. And if they're gonna remain there for an extended time period, that's not gonna be good. So then, then you gotta focus on upward mobility. But that's a that's another conversation um, for another day. I think I'm doing this right. Overall, like I said, open to suggestions. But based on the revised numbers, the opportunity is 146 trillion dollars, not inflation adjusted. But that's a big chunk of money. So uh, this is none of what I say again is uh, should uh, should be considered as uh, any kind of advice. Uh, please do not put your retirement savings in some of the companies that have been highlighted or uh, any like this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I could be wrong about making all of these assumptions, but these are what some of the numbers look like. Have a nice day.